Let's turn our attention to The Voice. We saw those polls during the week. Three of the major states, South Australia, Queensland, uh, where, of course, you are, Gary, uh, and Western Australia, the states yep. with the biggest Indigenous populations, now likely, at, if these polls stick to, to say no, Indigenous Australian Minister Linda Burney, she's reading the tea leaves on those polls. She knows that they're now in desperate trouble to get this up. Have a listen to how she likens this to campa the campaigners that are, are campaigning no to Donald Trump. Have a look. Friends, I fear that the no campaign are importing American-style Trump politics to Australia. At the heart is a post-truth approach to politics. Its aim, its aim is to polarise people. And, to, and its weapon of choice is misinformation. Gary, we also saw a poll this week that suggested that anyone who, who was suggesting we vote no uh, would be considered a racist. This is going down a very, very nasty road, isn't it? Well, Linda Burney says misinformation. I say no information. And Australians are not mugs, Steve. I mean, let's face it, 67% of people say uh, that they are afraid to speak out on this for the fear of being labelled a racist. And here we've got Linda Burney coming out with a bizarre comparison to Donald Trump. Heavens above. Uh, does she not actually understand the Australian people? Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I'm answering my own question here. She doesn't understand the Australian people. They don't care about the Australian people. This is all about the inner city elites and the people they hang around with. And look, it might go well in the Mung Bean cafes of Leichhardt or Carlton or West End in Brisbane. It might work well, really well there. But I've got to tell you that most people have got it worked out. They don't want Australia div divided down race. They don't want to see a racial tenant put into the Constitution. We've got to work together, recognise Recognising Australian Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders as having been here first is one thing, but that's not on the ballot. That is not on the ballot. What's on the ballot here is to prescribe a second chamber for a second group of people to go and be able to gain access to Parliament. I don't understand it. I do not understand why the government is persisting with this. I actually think there's a fair chance Albo will have to pull it because this thing is going so bad, going over the cliff at a rate of knots. David and Gary, great to have you with us, and I, I, I think I suggest uh, that that's probably correct. 